energy of this meeting was off the charts. And it wasn't just the 21-year-olds that are thinking about going into IR, but everyone here at the meeting, even from every part of the world, every part of the career path, the energy was just a buzz. What were some of the major highlights of this meeting? Well, from the beginning, what we wanted to do was to be more inclusive and to be better at identifying and highlighting what our field has to offer. When we think about diversity and inclusion, the first things that come to mind are women and underrepresented minorities. We are collecting ethnographic or, or uh, demographic mm -hmm. information on those. Uh, but it goes beyond that. Certainly we've made progress uh, in promoting women and underrepresented minorities to take uh, more visible roles in the society as well as at the meeting. But in addition, some of our members are in academics, some are in private practice, some are LBGTQ, some are in rural areas, some are in urban areas, some are from overseas, some are MDs, some are DOs, and of course we also have MPs and PAs and RTs and RNs. All of these people have experiences and expertise that we need to showcase at the annual meeting. And I think this year they showed up and they showed up with energy and they showed their stuff. So do you feel we joined the big leagues? We're in the process. So I think for most of us, we don't really know what it means to be in the big leagues. And so we're still learning those ropes. We are one of the primary specialties. We are no longer a subspecialty. We are a specialty. And so that's one of the things we do have to learn. We have to learn more about polit politics. We have to learn more about research. We basically, we have to learn more about identifying and exploiting our resources particularly our human resources. Compared to the other specialties, we're still small. So you can't expect someone that just entered Major League Baseball to beat the Yankees every year. Looking at the scientific content of this meeting, for example, the number of prospective trials that are, were presented and even featured or abstracts of the year has gone up, and this is very encouraging to see. Uh, so, I mean, I think we're working towards there, the, you know, integration of more early career with more late career. There were, it went super positively. I got a lot of positive feedback about it. There were some growing pains, but again, part of learning how to be in the major league. It's really nice to see how well the workshops were attended this year. I think definitely having simulation probably be more integrated in the workshops would be amazing. Um, the other thing is there is the Funaki Challenge where we get submissions about workshops and I'm really looking forward to see what people submit. Um, so please go and submit to the Funaki Challenge because we do take your ideas into account and you will have a workshop next year if you win. Well, part of the being inclusive about this meeting this year was that we did get 56 good sub submissions to the Funaki Challenge and we pretty much didn't throw any of them out. Most of them, or many of them, we accepted verbatim. A lot of them we gave some feedback and modified. Uh, we took faculty out of the submissions. And so a lot of this year's meeting was in fact crowdsourced. And if you look at the categorical courses, the SACME courses, uh, almost 50% of them this year were brand new, that they have never been given in previous years. And it's not because I came up with brilliant ideas, it's because people gave me their brilliant ideas. And it's only gonna get better next year.